There are a lot of different 3D printers out there, and for somebody that's just getting started with 3D printing, it can be a little daunting trying to figure out which is the best printer for them. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers, and today I'm going to talk to you about the best 3D printers for beginners. If you're already a part of the community, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, but if you're not, go ahead and subscribe down below to join the hacker community, and then you can check out some of our other videos like how to or troubleshooting guide by clicking over here. Now let's get started. Now let me explain the two different types of beginners I'm really gonna be talking about. There's one that really doesn't know anything about 3D printing. They just need a tool that can get the job done. It's not something that, oh, I really like 3D printing. I wanna get one. It's, this is a tool that helps solve some sort of manufacturing problem, whether it's prototyping or small scale business, or jigs and fixtures on a manufacturing line, it's something that is filling a tool set in somebody's workshop. Where there's the other type where they're just interested in 3D printing. They've read about it, they've watched videos on it, and they're finally ready to pull the trigger and get a printer, but it's not really there to create a business out of. It's something to just print out some vases or print out some little trinkets or basically toys, and maybe occasionally here and there printing something functional like a shifter knob for your car but it's not there to be a tool, it's there to be something fun and new to tinker with. And as such, there's just different needs across those two different types. For clarity's sake, we'll call the first one a business beginner and the second a hobbyist beginner. In general, the 3D printers that a hobbyist beginner will be geared towards are gonna be cheaper, which also means that they're pretty bare bones to start with, but they're super moddable. You can go in there and change out the board that actually runs it, have better bearings or a better surface, make it easier to calibrate, change out the entire hardware system until it's basically a brand new printer. But something for a business beginner is pretty much set in stone. A business beginner won't want to have to figure out like, oh, I don't like the way this is printing. I want to get this upgrade. It's just what you get out of the box, you want to just work. So these in general are fairly set in stone with how they're built together. There are different instructions and guides that you can find out there on how to modify them and maybe make some of the 3D printers a dual head printer, but there's gonna be modifying firmware and printing out parts to hold things together. And it's not something that's maybe officially supported, but if you do it, you're not gonna have anybody knocking on your door saying, hey, you can't do that with your printer. Most of the printer companies are open source, which just means that you can tinker with them as much as you want. If you're a hobbyist beginner, you're probably gonna wanna look at the Creality Series printers, Flash Forge, Tier Time, and at the higher end, the CME CNC Rostock series. Now, there is a good difference in pricing between all of those, but Creality tends to keep it lower with something like the Ender 3 being about $240, or the CR20 here is about $299. You have the CR10, which is a little bit bigger and is about $350. They're pretty cheap for the amount of printer that you get out of them, but there's gonna be some calibrating and figuring out how to get them to actually work to the best of their ability, which is also your ability. Or you have printers like the Rostock, which is a kit, so you do need to know how to solder, put things together, but once it's all together, it's a really great printer. You can buy that kit fully assembled and it's gonna be about $2,000, or you can buy as a kit for 1,000 and just take the time and your skill to put it together and have a really awesome printer after that. For the business beginner, you're gonna to wanna to look at printer brands like Pulse, Lulzbot, Ultimaker, Craftbot, CME CNC, and basically all the printers that are at least $1,000. Those are the type of printers that are getting closer to being fully plug and play with there just being a difference in feature sets once you get past a certain budget point. Now, I did mention CME CNC for the hobbyist beginner, but that's because they do offer a couple different printers. One being a kit that you then build and then there's your printer. And they have another version that's fully ready to assemb fully assembled out of the box and is just massive. It can do a ton of different prints and Ultimaker has a whole line of different printers. Lulzbot has different printers with different tool heads for different purposes so that you can just swap it out, load on the new, new tool head much like you would a CNC and just have the printer you need ready to go. For me, you're not gonna get an explicit, this is the printer that is best for you because there's just so many features. Maybe you want a bigger build volume than somebody else for a beginner price, or you want a printer that's really cheap, as cheap as it gets, or you just need a small printer, or you need a printer with two heads, or you need a printer for very specific materials like a Pulse XE. There's just too many questions out there to be able to say that this is the best printer for everybody because it's not real. It's not that realistic to assume that one printer is the best for everyone because there's just too much to consider. And that about covers this video. 
Although I definitely suggest you check out a previous video, how to pick the right 3D printer for you, because I go over all the different features in a lot more depth than I did in this one. You can also just go to our website and scroll through the different 3D printers that we carry and just click on some and see, maybe this one has some features I like. And just scroll through what looks interesting to you. You can also give us a phone call or an email at supportmatterhackers.com and talk to an actual person to help figure out with you what is the right 3D printer that you need because our support team will probably think of some questions that you didn't even think about asking. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers. Happy printing. Thanks for watching. If you like that, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the big builds, how to's, and troubleshooting guides I'll be working on. And don't forget, check out matterhackers.com to explore everything 3D printing and to join the community.